Alright, hi there YouTube, it's me Moistened America playing on the Korean version of Dragon Base. Now in this video, I'll be giving you guys a rundown on most of the updates I want to talk about for the January 19th, 2017 stuff that kicks in for the Korean Dragon Blaze. Now, you can view this information for yourself in the website link down below in the description. You can check it out for yourself, but yeah, I'm pretty much using the Korean Dragon Blaze blog to help me when it comes to getting myself well informed about what's coming out for the Korean Dragon Blaze during said week or just using this website in general to help me out with X, Y, and Z. Now I'll advise you guys to use this website as well so you guys can keep yourself well informed about all these new updates and these news and just use this website to your advantage for doing X, Y, and Z. Now when it comes to getting advice on which allies you should get and also what you what path you want to do you would need, well, if you need any help of any sort, you can definitely ask Discord and try to get a, a bunch of opinions from the community more than like following the game guide here. Now, I wouldn't say that the game guide isn't helpful. It's very, very well informed. You can find a bunch of information in this person's own opinion about transcended allies and stuff, but when it comes to getting certain transcend transcended allies, depending on what mode you want, or maybe you want to hear uh, an opinion about a certain ally and if you want to grab that certain ally and whatnot you definitely want to get a, a large array of opinions so you can make your judgment or make your final decision so yeah not only will I put the description of the Dragon Blaze blog in the description below I'll also put the discord link so you guys can go in there global or Korean Dragon Blaze it doesn't matter it's still Dragon Blaze but anyways Moving on, let me talk about some of these updates. Now, there is, well, you know how you can max out transcended allies and stuff. Now you can ultimate them. And if you ultimate a transcended ally, there is a benefit for that. One, you get more stats for your ally. But secondly, you actually get an ultimate skill if you give them the ultimate status. Now, I am going on to someone's ally storage right now in the Hall of Fame to show you guys that the ultimate status is available right now. And there's one thing I want to mention when it comes to ultimating a uh, transcended ally. It's gonna take a shit ton of resources. It's not- I'm not gonna but I'm not gonna coat it up with like fluff and duff and- and duff and lie to you guys. It's gonna be a lot. Every time you enhance to ultimate- now, here's the thing, you need to make sure you get max status before you can go to ultimate status, and to go from max to ultimate, it will be plus 6. So each enhancement level will take up 60 transcendent essences, 30 million gold, and 6 triple S allies per enhancement. Now, times all of those numbers by 6. You have to spend 360 transcendent essences, 180 million gold, and 36 triple S allies. Now, yeah, that's a ton of resources, but if you think about it, if you have a base transcended ally, base is zero, and you try to go from base to ultimate, you will at least spend 720 transcended essences, around 300 million gold, and then 63 triple S allies so you can get from zero to ultimate. And that's a ton of large damn numbers, and that's a lot of resources you're eating up. Now, if you've been farming for gold, and if you've been doing the usual sort of dealio, it shouldn't be a problem. Now, depending on how much essences you farm for each different types, that's a different story. Now, you could buy these essences so you can speed up your uh, progression for your transcendent ally, but it's heavily advised not to, and I'll make a separate video when it comes to where you should spend your rubies at. Everyone, even myself, even though I will say something else, will state that you want to spend your rubies on shoes so you can use it, so you can farm for X, Y, and Z. You, you get a lot more when you buy shoes and farm for stuff. Now, in my truest and on honest opinion, those are your rubies. Do whatever you want to do with those rubies because as long as you play the game, you will get a lot more of them. But I will save all of this stuff in a different video. But yeah, anyways, yeah, that's a lot of resources so you can get an ultimate transcended ally. But, once again, not only do you get a max skill if you max out a transcended ally, you get an ultimate skill if you ultimate your ally, and then they also added some 
balance adjustments for older transcendent allies like Kamel, Farah, Death Crown, all, all of them good sorts. You can view this at the Korean Dragon Blaze blog, like I said, it should be at the very top and it should say January 19th updates. Now, some other convenient features they did is um, the chat system, for example. They kind of changed the look for that. They changed the mailbox as well. And as you can see on the screen, it's pretty much, I, I don't know how to describe it, it's cleaner? Question mark. But yeah, they changed the mailbox and they changed some other good sorts, but... There's one thing I want to emphasize on, and let me bring it up on the screen right now. As you can see in my mailbox, I have 30 Transcended Essences along with 3 Triple S allies. And I will stress this very heavily, and I'll emphasize this very heavily. Right now, there is an event going on where it's a user, user appreciation gift. From January 19th to February 2nd, 2017, you want to log in every day so you can receive 3 free Triple S Ally and free 30 free Transcended Essences. As long as you log in. And in total, if you log in for all of these days, you get 42 Triple S Allies and 420 Transcended Essences. 420 Transcended Essences. Just for logging in along with the 42 Triple S Allies. This is very good, especially if you have a transcendent ally, but they're at max level, I mean base level or max level. Because these, these resources can be spent on ultimating your ally or getting max level for your ally. Now, the gold, you will have to figure out how you get that in itself. You can farm Avenger Belfagor, go farming when you go farm for essences and stuff. Equip a lot of rings to your allies and then... You could spend some rubies so you can get gold, but yeah. 420 free Transcended Essences just by logging in. And that is very helpful in progressing or just making your Transcended Ally very strong. So make sure you log in every damn day. And not only are you getting these for free, you're also increasing your attendance points. And you can get your free key as well. So yeah, or your free Essences and Triple S Allies. You're getting a lot. And also, if you log in right now as well, with, because of the huge update to uh, January 19th, you also get a free key and 300 free essences. And now, let me find it somewhere. No, is it there? Yeah, it should be down there actually. And someone asked me a question. But yeah, as you can see, free key and free 300 essences of your choice. And then someone asked me, I have another question. If I sign completely on this... Uh, yeah, let me actually talk about that later. I'll talk about the transcendent ally that you'll get if you're new or if you're returning. Or, I'm confused about the returning part, but I'll, I'll touch on that in a bit. But anyways, let me talk about game modes. Now, in the Korean Dragon Blaze, they merge hero mode and buster mode. Now, I'm not disappointed about this. As you can see here in tag mode, there is no buster or, or hero mode anymore. Same goes with with uh, Nightmare, and then the same goes with Arena. There is no more Hero Mode, and there is a reason behind this, from what I, I'm thinking. Now, when you make a Transcended Ally, you will notice that your Deified Ally used in the combination is gone. You do not have, for example, if you make Transcended Ravengale, you do not have your deified Ravengale anymore. You still have your ultimate Sasha key, that's a good plus side. But you do not have your deified Ravengale. Now, I know deified Ravengale isn't used much in Arena at this point, but still, this will be an issue later on. Especially when they make Transcended Awaken allies. Because, most likely the same logic will kick in. You will have your ultimate key still, and I don't know what ultimate key is being used for Transcended Awakened Mercedes or Turk. It will be released somewhere on the 24th of January, hopefully, but yeah. No information about those two are released, and we don't know what keys are being used for them. I'm guessing Dark Soul keys, because they had to use bus Dragon Buster keys so they can awaken the Transcended forms of the Bodens, but... Yeah, be... Don't... It's not 100% confirmation, but that's just me guessing it. So yeah, be prepared to like swap the other way around if it's actually giant keys instead of dark soul keys. But yeah, going back on topic, 
Yeah, because a lot of people use a lot of the Awakened Allies, or a good amount of Awakened Allies for Hero Mode, when they make Transcended Awakened Allies, they... Yeah, one, they take away those Awakened Allies, so you will have to remake them again, and that's you spending resources and... I mean, if you farm a lot and if you have a shit ton of Triple S Allies and a bunch of Essences you can spend willy-nilly, then go <laughs> good for you, but yeah. It's just gonna take a lot of resources just to remake those allies and I don't think there is any point of backtracking when the game is actually progressing forward when they're making a ton of transcended allies. So yeah, combining the modes is actually a smart move in my opinion. Now this might differ from your opinion and obviously we do... I, I think we get... No, wait. I don't think we get less rubies because they actually combined the ruby, na, rubies now. I just remember this because I remember... Yeah, as you can see, if you do Tag Arena right now on a Thursday, well, most likely if I post this any time later, then it might not be Thursday anymore, but yeah. Usually you get 60 rubies for doing Hero Mode, and then 60 rubies for doing Buster Mode. As you can see, they combined it, so now you get 120, so it's not exactly a huge loss unless you want to have separate rankings of, like, Hero and Buster Mode, so you can get more rubies, but yeah, I think they kind of... The game developers kind of tackled that situation and decided to get give a lot more rubies depending on your rankings in the in these combined modes now. But yeah. Pretty much yeah, they combined it. Now, another thing they did was restart the tower of validation. Now, this is very, very good for a lot of veteran players or people who have been playing the game a lot more for the Korean Dragon Blades and they've already completed it all and they just need yeah, they, they can't do anything with Tower of Validation once they complete all the stages, it's like, it's kind of useless to them now. But with this Tower of Validation being revamped, it's going to be very handy for a lot of veteran and old players or players who've just been playing the game for a very long time. And they revamped the re rewards as well, so now you can get Transcended Essences, a bunch of Triple S Allies, and other Essences as well. Now... This is a huge downfall if you just joined the game because that means you miss out your chance of getting a bunch of awards from Tower of Validation. And... I really don't know how to comfort you guys if you miss on getting the free 100 stages when it came to Tower of Validation. All I can say is that... Hopefully you can actually progress through this new Tower of Validation and get a lot of awards out of them. But yeah, pretty much you miss your chance to get the first set of Tower of Validation rewards. Especially because they were two different modes, Hero and Buster. But yeah, let me actually look at these rewards and see if you can get a lot more. Not really, like, the separate modes gave you a lot of tickets and a lot of shoes, and then depending on if you go to Buster mode as well, you get a lot more resources from there. So having two different Tower of Validation was actually a huge plus side. But now, in-game, because we're getting further and further into the game and developing a lot of things. Yeah, Tower of Validation, now combined everything, and yeah, pretty much this is more of a plus side. I mean, if you're still new to the game and you, and you can progress through most of the floors in Tower of Validation, that's good on your part. But yeah, you pretty much missed the first stuff that you could have got from Tower of Validation. And like I said, I don't know how to comfort you guys with that. And I did want to point this out because I'm not going to ignore this sort of change. Because this is kind of important, especially if you just joined the game or if you didn't. But going back on topic, let me continue on with the updates. And they did increase more ally slots for your gear link. Now, it will cost 490 rubies just to unlock one of these things. So, you're going to have to spend a good amount of rubies if you need those ally slots spaces now if you have all the ally space uh ally spaces you need for your gear link then you're totally fine but to me i have a lot of encounters and mages and i do need to expand on it so yeah that that's actually something i had to work on and i don't want to spend my rubies right now but i will have to eventually and then some of the other things you can read for yourself now the biggest thing that i want to point out is every time you start a new mode or start something your party selection will be empty, like how it is in Tower of Validation. Now, there is an easy way to sort of go around this instead of individually clicking each boxes or trying to find each one of your allies and just adding them to your party and stuff like that. 
there is an easier method to do this. So let's say you have your party already grouped up for, uh... Let's say you already have the... No, no not Tiger Arena. That's not a good example. Let's say you have the party you want for, uh... That you want to use for almost all the modes that are available in the game. Instead of just clicking individually and adding them and removing them and stuff. You can click on that little button up at the right... Well, right in the middle of the screen. Small little scroll button. And you can use this to save your party. So, if you go to a mode like Tower of Validation. You don't exactly need to click individually at every one of your party members. All you have to do is click on this button. Click on the party selection or party formation you want, and then boom, you have them already loaded and you don't actually need to go through all that little tedious stuff. But that's kind of a shortcut of, yeah, shortcut tip and tips and tricks for Korean Dragon Blades, or like Dragon Blades in general. And I will make a video talking about all these little things that will be used for Dragon Blades, so that's gonna be later on. Now, here's the biggest thing that I don't know. I will make a new account, so hopefully I will showcase the fact that if you are new to the game, you will get a Transcended Ally in your first ever login rewards. Now, the biggest concern I have when it comes to returnees or new players making a new account, well, most it's more towards the returnees. I don't know if returnees come into Dragon Blaze, I don't know how many months you had to be inactive or how many years. Actually, if you, you've been inactive for years, most likely this will kick in, but I think you do get a free Transcended Ally depending on how long you haven't played the game. Now, like I stated, I don't know what's the actual requirements for being a returnee. Maybe it's one month, maybe two months, maybe a year. But yeah, there is a huge, huge plus side to returning into the game right now. Or this is actually active until they refresh or they revamp the uh, returnee sort of deal but yeah if you guys are re returnees coming into the game let me know in the comments below if you actually get a free transcended ally now like i stated i think new players do get a free transcended ally and i will make a new account next week and i will showcase said new account and also show you guys if I get a free transcended ally. Now, since I don't have a new account, I can't actually stress this or I can't showcase this, but apparently there is a buff system for new users that will give you guys 100% on gold experience and ally drop. And yeah, I'm not a new player so I can't showcase that, but hopefully next week I can. Another thing I will point out is these, uh, Essences you can get for doing if you decide to buy the 50 bundles with your rubies You get five free essences every 50 bundles you buy with rubies So this is kind of good to buy rubies if you plan to spend your rubies on essences Wait, no, I word that wrong If you plan to buy essences with rubies, this is a good deal to kind of do it on Not only are they on a discount, you get five essences as well Depending on what type you buy, so if you buy a good amount of Transcended Essences, you get them at like um, 40% and then you also get another 5 free Transcended Essences, so yeah. It depends on where you want to spend your es uh, your rubies, so this could be useful to you, but yeah, once again, a lot of people will stress out, buy shoes with, no, use your rubies to buy shoes in X, Y, and Z, but yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that in a different video. But yeah, if you plan, or if you're debating about making a new account, or if you just want to start playing the Korean Dragon Blaze, now is the time because there is a 1 plus 1, one, plus one event going on. And if you take advantage of this, you can definitely get a good head start in the game. You have a lot of triple S allies to get. And not only do you get triple S allies just so you can do the mission where you have to summon some allies from the 9 plus 1 event and then you get a 1 plus 1 event from that you get a bunch of allies and transcended essences just for logging in so yeah right now I would heavily advise anyone who wants to make an alternative account or anyone who wants to start the Korean Dragon Blaze do it now and shut up I know I almost have like a full storage space but yeah not only that, there is a GM event for every time you get a triple S ally 
or every time you complete the 9 plus 1 event, you do get another ally from that. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a triple S ally and whatnot. Hopefully, it is. But, yeah, you do get another ally if you do the 9 plus 1 event. So, yeah, it could stack. You could get a lot of triple S allies if you take advantage of it and take advantage of the mission. And if you're wondering how you can translate the missions or what you need to do for certain missions, the Korean Dragon Blaze blog has a link or made a guide for you guys to to decipher and to use so you can translate what's going on and I'll put it in the description below. And then there's some other dealers going on with some package deal that's going on in the shop like how you can get like 200 transcendent essences if you spend 100 bucks along with maybe 4000 rubies and then uh, six triple S allies, so yeah, you can look at this at your own time if you're playing the Korean Dragon Base. But pretty much that's all I want to go over for this video. So thank you guys for watching this. Hopefully, this informs you guys about all of the new updates that kicked in. And I'll see you guys around. Peace.